right, you guys, happy March. Uh, spring is Ooh. near. I can feel it, as you can tell, by my little dress that I'm wearing today. Even the dress that I wore in my, or the jumpsuit that I wore in my makes video for February. Like, I'm transitioning. I, I'm just going to, if I have to will it through my wardrobe, I will will the spring temperatures to come. I will will the sun to <laughs> come earlier and stay later and just bring me all that spring energy the renewal and the just positivity that I need in my life right now and that is also <laughs> my mindset with all of that is also very reflective in my plans for this month as well I know I said it I wouldn't do this but I have a lot of plans <laughs> I'm really trying to keep like rein them all in but I just have a lot going on this month so I Hopefully, I'm going to have tons of energy, be able to maintain this positive energy, and get it all done. But let me show you what I have planned for this month. Okay, first of all, our Sew Together 22 um, pattern for March whew, uh, is the Petite Stitchery Remy sweater. It's this really cool crew neck or turtleneck, drop shoulder, kind of a bigger oversized sleeve um, sweater with all these different options for the hem. You can do this like curved, like gathered hem. You can do vertical gathers, lots and lots of options, which is why I have a lot of ideas for this pattern. I think I'm definitely going to want to make more than one version, possibly a version that doubles as like wear it out on the streets, like that athleisure kind of thing where you can lounge in it, but you can also go run errands in it too. And you don't feel like a total slob. But for this initial version, I am going to make something that in my mind is going to be a little bit more just stay at home because this fabric, I don't know what I was thinking when I bought this, um, just doesn't feel like anything that I would want to wear out. I got it when I was in Montreal what, three years ago at this point? Um, I saw it, I loved it, right? And I knew I wanted to make like a sweatshirt type thing with it. And then I got it home and it's just sat in my stash ever since. And I think it's because I don't envision myself wearing this. Like, what do I wear it with? Jeans? Like, okay, but then it feels, I don't know. It just feels not like me. And so I'm like, you know what? This is the perfect project to use this fabric for because... Worst case scenario is I just wear it around the house and it's still like a cute, comfy, cozy situation that I don't feel like, you know, embarrassed to answer the door in um, and kind of works as a wearable muslin. That way the project doesn't turn out for some reason, which I can't imagine why it wouldn't fit wise. The pattern's not an issue, so I don't I can't imagine why it wouldn't work out. But for some reason, if it doesn't, it's not like I am like married to this fabric and so, so, so in love with it. So. This is the fabric I'm going to be using. Um, they all, Petite Stitchery also has a free jogger pattern, which is like a yoga pant, um, jogger pant com combo. Um, and if I have enough, they have like, that pattern has, well, I guess all pant patterns have multiple lengths, shorts, Bermuda, Capri, full length. Some of them have cuffs, some of them don't. Um, whatever I have left of the fabric, I'm going to try and whip out a pair of bottoms to have like a matching set which feels more intentional to me, especially if it's out of the same fabric. Um, this fabric just feels, I didn't just even feel pajamas. I don't know, this, I don't, this fabric is just confusing to me. I'm having a hard time wrapping my brain around exactly what it should be, but I don't even remember what fabric it is. Oh, it's just a jersey. Uh, I think all this time I thought it was sweatshirt fleece. <laughs> so that just goes to show you, I, I'm lost. So this is what it's gonna be. Final answer, and we're going to get this out of my stash and hopefully have something cute to wear around the apartment. All right, next up we have, where should I go next? Let's go for the dog stuff, since y'all seem to love that so much in the uh, last month's makes video. So I talked about making them little t-shirts. I even showed you Biscuit wearing the original t-shirt that I had made. So this is the pattern, Quick Sew 4382. All right, quick sew patterns go on sale at Joanne a lot. But regardless, every sales period, I feel like quick sew is on sale for like $2, sometimes $1. But um, 
mostly two dollars anyways you can grab this pattern i think the last time quick sew had a dollar sale i just went through their entire collection the whole all the drawers i didn't even look at the book i just went through all the drawers and picked out all the pet patterns like i have a bunch of pet patterns so i want to do that out of scraps that i have left over from june and lou from the um, love notions tranquil sleep set that i made because i think it would be cute if we all matched <laughs> um so that's one thing these are super quick and easy to whip up um, I just got to figure out sizing. I know Biscuit's size because, like I said, she's wearing one. Honey has the same body measurements as Biscuit, but not the same neck measurement. So we might need to size up for her. I'm not sure. But we'll figure it out, right? It can't be that hard. Um, anyway, so yeah, just a little t-shirt for them. I mean, maybe I can make one out of that first floral too, if, you know, if I have scraps of that. The next project, okay, so um, there's this fabric line that was sent to me. I'm going to be telling you guys more about it when I show you kind of like the clothes that I made, the little um, treat pouch that, that I made, and when this gets finished as well. So I can tell you guys more about this fabric line then, like in a week or so. Um, but it is so, so, so cute. I think it's called Off the Leash. Um, and it has so many different prints in it, but this one I'm using, this like line drawing one for the lining. <laughs> and this one, so cute with all these different kinds of dogs on it for like the main fabric. And here's my wild idea. So Honey is an ESA. She is my emotional support animal, which means I can take her to stores that you normally can't take dogs. For me, that really only means like, I've taken her to Goodwill with me, to Target once. She doesn't come a lot, but when I need that extra comfort, my anxiety is like super, super high, she can come with me. Most other places will allow dogs. Like, did you know you can bring a dog to Joann's? Did you know you can bring dogs, obviously to PetSmart or any pet store? So if I do that, I wanted to have something to make <laughs> the experience better for her because when I took her with me, the first time I put her in the buggy, right? Or a cart. What do you guys call it? We, I call it a buggy. I guess I'm Southern. I don't know. And you know how it has the holes for the baby's legs to go through. Um, and so she kept kind of like sliding around because it's like that plastic seed. And I could just tell it was cold. Like she didn't love it too much. So I saw this pattern recently and I thought to myself... <laughs> This feels so silly to say out loud. I thought to myself, okay, I can make this little buggy. What do they even call it? They don't even have a description, but this little buggy cover and I could just not sew the leg parts, right? Like here's the pattern line drawing. I could just not cut out those holes in the middle and have just like a full buggy cover that Honey can sit in or sometimes Biscuit too if she comes with me. Um, with us to like pet smart or whatever it is and they will be more comfortable and not slide around a whole bunch and it's kind of cleaner and they won't slide through the little leg holes for the baby so <laughs> that's my plan with this I think it's going to be really fun getting the video for this is going to be hysterical um you're just going to have to tune into the video just to see kind of them trying to model and hopefully participate in me getting this uh, video done. So that's the idea I have for the girls, just little t-shirts and the buggy cover, which is so extra and awesome. And I'm excited to try it out. I think it's a good idea though. For those of you with dogs that you put in the buggies, do you have a cover? What do you think? Is that a good idea? Let me know in the comments. Um, next up, okay, let's talk about the sew along. We are making... McCall's 8121. Do not be alarmed by the glitteriness of this jacket. It really is just a standard moto jacket with lots of really fun details with zippers and all that jazz. It's Nicole Miller pattern. Okay. Here's the fabric that I got for it. Um, it is like a cotton, um, sort of like a brushed cotton that I got at Joanne. And I put a lot of thought into what fabric I wanted to use for this moto jacket. I definitely considered the usual suspects like leather, corduroy, denim, all of that kind of stuff. And I just thought it would be so cool to do something a little bit preppy, kind of juxtaposed with that, you know, the, the 
edgy vibe of a moto jacket. So I'm going with this. I think it's going to be super cool and super fun and green for March, which was kind of unintentional. But then I got this lining to go with it as well. So we're going for like a whole green vibe. And don't worry if you're stressing about what fabric to get uh, for your version of the sew along. I'm going to be doing a whole video soon, like maybe next week. Um, I call it episode zero, where it's like all the prep work for your pattern. So we are going to be talking about fabric. I went to Joanne and took like actual video of different fabrics that they have that are available. They both got the zoomies and they're going crazy, like just chasing after each other. It's like an epic game of dog tag. Um, so I've got some ideas for fabrics, um, maybe some that are a little bit outside the box as well. So if you're thinking about like going a route like I did, where it's not super obvious of a choice, um, tune in for that video. I've got information on sizing, fit, um, all the notions that you need, all of that stuff. So don't stress about it. If you don't have all that stuff yet, we'll get there. Trust me. Um, episode zero is coming, but that is my plan for the moto jacket. I am cautiously very excited about it. In my head, it's going to be amazing. Um, but there's always a chance that like that fabric just is not right for it. But I, I genuinely think it's going to be okay. Even I don't know. Oh, isn't that fun? Okay, then <laughs> I told you I had a lot. It's just, I think the new season, I think that's what happens. The new season comes and I just get so excited about all the new patterns that just came out and all the ideas are flowing and the energy's up and all of that. So either way, you guys know that when Vogue released their early spring patterns, I flipped for this pattern, Vogue 8172. Absolutely love the circle skirt fullness of it all, the drapiness of it all, the print mixing of it all. So I tried to shop my stash, but that takes a lot of fabric and your fabric must be wide. It must be wide. So I either would have to cut in single layers and need twice the fabric that I have or find a fabric that's super wide and, you know, be able to cut it in pairs like we normally do. So didn't have anything here. Went to Joanne. Didn't love anything at Joanne. So I went online and went to fabric.com. This is what I got. Um, and I'm not taking them out of the bags. Maybe this is another question for you guys. So Amazon owns fabric.com, right? So when I put all the stuff in my fabric.com order, I didn't have enough for free shipping, but I'm an Amazon Prime member. So I could just go to Amazon Prime and order what I needed and get it shipped quicker and for free. But I needed two yards of each of these. And so you just do, you know, quantity two. And they sent me two separate one yard cuts. I have two separate one yard cuts of this and two separate one yard cuts of this. Can I get a refund? Is, did they make a mistake or did I make a mistake? Can you not do that on Amazon? Do you have to order multiple yardage through fabric.com? I don't know. I don't know what happened. Either way, that's why I still have them in the bags in case I have to return them. But these are the fabrics. Don't those look great together? They are, oh shoot, maybe cotton some kind of cotton blend I can't remember but these are them and I am thinking of this for the main and this for the contrast so you can imagine woo, nice and twirly their drape is great um, I think they're gonna wash up really beautiful they're opaque um, all of those things that you need for a beautiful skirt so if I can get the fabric situation maybe I will lay these out and I won't need to worry about it because each skirt fits each piece fits exactly where it's supposed to and That'll be fine, but if not, I'm gonna have to send this stuff back and they're gonna have to send me two yard cuts like I thought I was ordering. Anyway, so that's that. Vogue, little skirt. I'm so excited about this. I'm gonna wear it just like she is with <clears throat> either a white bodysuit, white t shirt, something along those lines. And then this is getting to be a really long video. Last thing, last thing that I pulled out is the Rachel Comey dress from Vogue Early Spring, Vogue 8159. I love everything about this. The chicness of it all, the simplicity of it all. Modern, cool, like I just want to wear this every single day. And I happen to have a really, really, really beautiful linen in my stash that I think will be perfect. The only issue is I might not be able to make it as long as this. Granted, she's probably very tall. 
I do not want to wear it with heels. I normally have to shorten my bodices because I'm short waisted. So maybe, maybe I can eke it out of the fabric that I have, but this is the color. Ah! What do we think? Green, lime, fun. And then if I really wanted to just like go to town, I can wear it with my moto jacket. <gasps> <laughs> I think that's really cute. Maybe it's a lot for some people, but I mean, it is the season of color. They're all talking about, you know, in all the fashion-y places that big, 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 bold, bright colors are all the rage right now. So why not pair lime green with green plaid? You know what I mean? Um, worst case scenario, they don't look good together. I wear them separately. It's fine. I have a, a navy coat that would look really beautiful. I say coat, but I really mean jacket. A navy jacket that would be beautiful or just, I mean, in no time here, it's going to be too warm for another layer anyways. So those are my plans. I told you it's a lot. I know. Um, but I think that the so together thing is a one day project. The, the dog stuff is a one day project. That Vogue skirt is a one day project. So I think once I get those things knocked out, I'll have plenty of time for the Rachel Comey dress, the sew along dress or the sew along jacket. Um, and we will be well on our way. Um, but that is it. Those are my plans for March. What are you going to be making? Are you going to be doing the sew along with me? I really hope you are. Are you going to be doing so together with me? I really hope you're doing that as well. Um, I know I'm adding a lot to your plates this month with all the things that I've got going on, but um, I would love to hear what you are working on. I have linked here in the Inslate to my February makes video. So you can see all the things that I made last month. Um, and yeah, you just click the bottom right little box there and I'll take you right to that video. But other than that, that's going to do it for me today. I've got to get to sewing, obviously. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very soon. Bye.